Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Have a good day. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to share my students' perspectives, opinions, and ideas about the United States of America. In our previous meeting, we talked about the USA, and I have explained in brief about the country from many relevant and valid sources. So this time, I'm going to share with you my students' thoughts, opinions, and ideas about the United States of America. Please remember that the students have never traveled to the U.S., but they have high interest toward the U.S., and some of them want to travel to the country simply because the U.S. is an interesting country to be visited. And, of course, I graduated from one of the public universities in the U.S., so my students feel more attracted to see the U.S. because of that. I hope that you could listen to the voice of this 55 students, consisting of female students and male students in my classroom. If you have any question or feedback or anything you would like to state, please write down in the comment section below. And I'm happy to share and I'm happy to answer all of your questions regarding the student's voice. At last, this video has in, been intended to share the student's voice about the country. I hope that it is useful for everyone in this YouTube channel. And have a good day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Before we proceed further to watch the student's voice, please subscribe in this YouTube channel. Silahkan di subscribe dan kita berdiskusi secara intelektual in this YouTube channel. Mr. Seth's Corner, Sparkling Silent Silhouette, and Intuitive, Emotive, and Reflective. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Okay, I'm Muhammad Fadil My registration number is 18-14-05-048 From TBEA According to my view of the United States As an Indonesian Muslim student uh, Is The experience of being a Muslim student in the United States of U.S. public school system in unique and a personal challenge for each individual. This is a natural part of building character. There are several main challenges that arise, namely the first school lunch menus, Muslim and non-Muslim holidays, and, attempt, and the attempt of the Muslim identity regarding name and appearance. School. Some elementary school students seem depressed about the lunch menu provided by the school. If parents do not prepare and send lunch, a student is faced with question about what is halal and what is not, because many pork products are hidden in their ingredients. The second is for girls. Observing rigorously mandated modesty can be stressful, especially when the girl is transitioning to puberty and has to explain her new appearance. Wearing, wearing a headscarf complicates school district regulation to cover hair, which is usually associated with gang activity. Girls also face challenges in exercise class which may require them to wear short or remove their head scarf. Some stu students state that Muslim female students with immigrant parents were more likely to experience bullying when they cover their hair than Americans. 
the church is dead, both boys and girls declare. The law automatically referred to as an heir. They leave them socially isolated because they do not that drink, alcohol drink, smoke, throw tantrum, or experiment with drugs. And the next one is the male student are very much admitted and no more than anything else the cause bullying and fighting between themselves and their peers. One student expressed his frustration that simple names common to Muslims had been slender. And the last one is some teenage Muslim student expressed it that when sharing reports of political discussion in class that are full of misinformation and hostility make them uncomfortable, afraid and angry. Given the recent tragedy in North Carolina involving three young Muslims, some students feel vulnerable. However, this problem becomes the second priority of the students due to peer pressure. Muslim boys reported that they appear weak or potentially gay if they didn't have girlfriends or were openly pursuing a relationship. So, the United States Embassy in Indonesia has assured the Muslim students in Indonesia need to, need to be afraid to continue their education in the United States. According to Caroline, an educational consultant from the U.S. Cultural Center, every university in America has its own security system to ensure the safety of students there. Safety is still the biggest priority, especially for students, so every university makes sure the students are safe. They may have their own police departments, their own security, their own hospital, said Caroline. So, in America, the important for all universities in the safety for all students, it doesn't matter which students, which university was important is student safety. Okay, that's all for me and thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Maulani Mufida Manik. My register number is 1814050005. I'm from English Department, Class A at Islamic State University of Imam Bonjol Padang. So, I would like to answer the question given by my lecturer. The question is, as students coming from Islamic background and never traveled into the USA, what is my view or my perspective about the United States of America? So, first of all, let me share a bit story of myself. I was born and raised in a Muslim family. As someone who has a Muslim background and got education in Islamic-based schools, which also called as madrasa, I was taught Islamic values since I was a child. Not only from my family, but also from my teachers during school and even now. From my perspective, the United States of America is a country that adheres secularism, liberal, liberal democracy, and capitalism. There's very little or maybe no Islamic foundation found both in the state and society. Basically, secularism is an ideology that separates religion from human life and also too oriented towards human life. This is very contrary to Islam, where Islam is present to balance its teachings. In connection with our previous learning, that is, the cultural differences between the West and the East, which is the West represented by the United States of America, I learned that the USA is called liberal because religion is separated from the government there, and the state also has no right to interfere with the lives of its citizens. I also found this contradicts with the Indonesia 
ideology that is Pancasila. In Pancasila, religion is in the first precept which shows that religion can cannot be separated from our daily life. Indeed, there are many good things that can be emulated from the culture of American people, such as they are hard workers, they have high self-management, they dare to take risks and accept criticism, etc. I didn't mean to say that the culture of Indonesian society is bad, but these cultural differences can be taken as lessons to make our nation become better. But still, because the culture of American people doesn't originate from religious teachings, its orientation is only for worldly purposes. Apart from that, I also want to share my views about the United States of America from the perspective of women. As a Muslim woman, it is my mandatory to wear the hijab or the burqa according to Allah's command in the Quran Surah Al-Azab verse 59. Hijab is an obligatory for every Muslim woman to wear it when they are going out and when they are meeting people who are not their mahram. As far as I know, in the United States of America, Islam is still a minority religion, so the Muslim women there often experience discrimination and get much pressure due to the hijab they wore. Another challenge that Muslim women must face is the Americans' perceptions about them being terrorists and radicals. There are still many American and Western media show articles about wearing a hijab is a symbol of coercion. In addition, the USA media also portrays Muslim women as weak and dependent to others. The thirst of such negative stereotypes like this must be questioned because the fact that the image of Muslim women is already different from what is being reported. Many Muslim women are highly educated and incredibly inspiring. For example, I found an article about Ibti Haj Muhammad. She is an American Muslim woman and she is the first athlete that wearing the hijab to compete at the Olympics. Ibti Haj participates in the branch of fencing and because of that, she become a legendary. This is the proof that Muslim women are not weak like what the media say and they are able to work with their patients and at their fields. In conclusion, I strongly agree with the Indonesian people, especially Muslims, to study general knowledge at the United States of America, such as science, communication, technology, medicine, culture, language, and so on. However, for knowledge of Islam, it is best if a Muslim pursues it from the country where the source of knowledge about Islam originates and develops well, also the country maintains its purity. I think that's all my answer for the question given. I'm truly sorry for every mistake that I made in this video. I hope you are enjoying this. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Zafianita. My step number is 1614 double 1 and double 2. Uh, I as an Indonesian private student. I have never been to the USA and I will give my opinion uh, about USA. Okay guys, uh, we all know that the USA is a liberal country and very free in democracy. The government is strong and very influential for other countries. The view of USA leaders to a religious community uh, has every big influence on every religion, uh, especially Islam. Islam has spread in the USA, Muslims come from various countries and for now, 
It is known that many indigenous people have embraced Islam as terrorists. However, Islam is still growing rapidly in the USA. Uh, seeing the freedom of democracy in the USA and also the rapid development of Islam, I really hope that one day there will be a kafa Islamic government there. So that people view on Islam will change terrorists uh, because Islam is not just about terrorists, right? Terrorists are just deviation in Islam and terrorists are not the real Islam. Uh, why I do why do I put that up in USA? Uh, not another country or maybe in our country indonesia because i think usa is the superpower country governance influence the world uh, when in the usa there has been an islam that is kafa inshallah there will also be a change in the good islam the world uh, Okay, this is about Islam in USA and I think in the USA there are frequent conflict between racism. Black people are often demanded. Uh, also, black people have led this country, uh, this President Barack Obama. But in fact, there are still case of racism, right? Mm. Apart from government and religion, uh, I also think that I also think that America is the center of world cinema. It's Hollywood, and USA is the great place of various hero character that are in the mind by all circle. Uh, apart from film, uh, USA is a fashion country. Uh, Many young people now imitate Western fashion and famous and beautiful model like Kiki Hadid, Kendall Jenner, uh, there were born great musicians like Justin Bieber, uh, Ariana Grande, and so many more. Uh, in addition to the entertainment world, as it is also excel in terms of education. Uh, Many students from various countries want to continue their study at various universities in the USA. Their music, fashion, film, and education are global and very in the mind by all people around the world. Uh, Besides all that, uh, the USA is also superior in terms of technology that makes many country uh, dependent uh, on the USA for example the Apple company mm, USA is a superpower in all fields I hope the USA can always be good friends with our country Indonesia uh, maybe uh, mm, this is a little bit of my opinion USA. Uh, thank you for listening and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Sri Mardalini. I come from the South Pacific TBI A class, majoring in Tadris English Win Imam Bonjol Padang. Here, I will answer the question from the cross cultural recovery material. Namely, the, namely, what Islamic students think about America. Here, I will put forward my opinion that it's a very good and very difficult country. As a Muslim, the religion of Islam has developed very rapidly. The only advantage is is still a minority. So, in U.S., Muslim still a minority because uh, Islam from uh, come to immigration for other countries in America. 
difference or difference they are able to create different religion on top or minority islam in us so population islam at us so large So there is no longer worry that if someone want to visit there and study there because in US already Muslim groups who will guide you there to find halal food and place for worship. There is no doubt that the spread of Islam is very fast. And there is an Islamic population. It's very corner. For that, I'm also interested in going to school in America. Hopefully, it should be a safe. There are many very interesting places like Hollywood Hills. In addition, the super fast technology car. Advance America is very good for visiting and place to study. Don't listen to other people when demoising America that America is very good, has a high tolerance for otherwise gender, religion and is open to immigration from all over the world to here. So, don't worry to come America because you can find group of Muslims to join there. If someone want to holiday, don't worry to put halal food because you can find it muslim and america you can sharing about condition in america and with condition american condition is muslim indonesia how different maybe time to pray Different ta difference time to free, pay to to some maybe and you can sell anything to people or how to to people you you people America to invite you to pray and I think uh, America so good to visit because it's America and it any country any country to city uh, like Los Angeles or anything so assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh hello assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh i'm hamzatul husna i'm from tba and now i live in west pasaman okay uh, i think uh, usa is a good con good country in the world with modern culture because all you want you can do there i think usa have many things for learn and bring to our countries the first thing is usa have a good education many people want to go to usa to study because in USA have a 
Professor of Knowledge. Many campus have many have a international certificate with many amazing experience when we come learn there. Second, USA have multiculture because USA consists uh, of many ethnic we mix it in one country so it can become good example for us why I say like that uh, in addition I, I explain with many ethnic we can learn about contradiction and how to respect one each other next in USA there we can get some position or some job men with women then they not think about gender but they just think about skill and opportunities for uh, from us so I prone about the USA and I hope one day Indonesia uh, can do do that too USA is a busy country. American people do don't have holiday. Every every year they are used from for work and they are very like to work. I think it's amazing. I I can imagine when I can I can do I can do in my life. The last, uh, my opinion about uh, USA is a good country with beautiful building. I ever been USA from the internet in Instagram, and I feel. I want to go to USA and take many pictures and videos and I want to post with the long sentence and long experience how the beautiful of USA so I can conclude about the USA USA have many interesting for us but in the world always have positive and negative negative side we must do a good side from USA and don't do a negative side uh, be good be good people and have a good attitude okay I think that's all for my explanation about USA thanks for your attention wabillahi taufiq wa hidayah assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Ratrisni Tamulani my register number is 18140500016 I'm from English department grade 8 so today I want to answer the questions about what I have in my mind about the United States of America. According to me, as a student coming from an Islamic background and having never traveled to the USA, I've heard that people over there are not really like with Muslims, especially since the terror attacks the rock America and the world. Many Americans are worried when they think about Islam. I don't know why, but as far as I knew, they discriminate Muslims who was headcore or jilbab. They suppose it's strange based on their culture. I've even heard that one of journalists over there say that the close way of dressing for Muslim is an outmoded form. For your information, the United States is sometimes known as mixing place 
The same is true of cultures in various countries when American culture affects the culture of these countries. They live freely because, to my knowledge, they live in a liberal country. And I trust it well that they have a messy lifestyle, especially with the way of associations that we can say promiscuity. Teenagers over there are also in cohabitation, which is of course prohibited in Islam. Also, as far as I know, uh, Muslims do not get any privileges over there because those who wear the hijab are not allowed to work in certain companies. I think this is too much. Just because they wear the hijab, they lose the chance to get the proper job. I want staff that in the United States, most of its citizens had a hostile to Muslims. It can be seen from how they treat Muslims. Even in movies, people are considered strange and they like to isolate women who wear head curls or head scarves. I have never been there, but in my opinion as a student with an Islamic background, it seems like if we want to go there, we have to be careful, especially uh, for women. Many people like to get drunk and do youth gathering freely. Even they have, they are having contacts with the opposite sex without married ties. But as Muslims, we are not allowed to be trapped in the things are prohibited by our religion, such as um, living with the opposite sex without marital status. As we know, even 17 years old already got freedom. I've even heard if a mother uh, forbid her 17 years old child from doing her hobby, the child can sue the parents. This is, of course, uh, very different from Indonesia customs or culture. Moreover, as a Muslim, we must obey both parents and not do anything that is prohibited. In a sense, we must be careful and filter in associating with the cultures over there. We may not to be able to avoid it, but we can limit our, asso our associating. The USA is a liberal and cruel country in my view. I also think that if people over there like to have free parties without their parent watching, they do everything that they think is fun, even they like anything that, that smells of sex. I know because according to a society in this country, sex is a natural thing and even if there are teenager girls who haven't done it, they will be considered bad. And these are very contradicted with Islam. As a Muslim, it will be hard to adapt to people with custom and cultures that are distinctions from our habits. So if I think about the United States, there are too many things that contradict my background as Muslim student. Apart from uh, this all, I consider that they will think strange with an oriental face we have especially with the sort pastors of Indonesia. Regardless of all that, I'm sure not all parties think badly about Islam. Most of American society is consumed with bad news aimed to Islam. I know that because of the several channels I have watched about the opinion of the United States of America about um, Islam, they do mostly not know the truth about Islam. That's because um, the media over there seems to be cornering Muslims. For example, the terrorism has they pretend to be uh, commuted by Muslims. Many Americans who decide to convert to Islam in faith because of the behavior of Muslims that um, they judge according to religious orders. I believe this must be because Muslims who show us Muslim are to live. Uh, clearly are contrary to the lifestyle of the United States society itself and how a Muslim live uh, their life based on the, relig uh, the religions uh, they profess. Okay, uh, that's all from me. I can make sure I have provided um, the proper side of my view. Thanks for watching and listening. 
uh, see you in the next sessions Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Yeni Sesterianti My register number is 01 I'm from TBIA Okay, I will answer the question from Mr. The question is what I think what I think of the United States as an Muslim student. Okay. I think my first view is that the United States is a very free country, especially the, the habits of its people. As a student of girl with a Muslim background, I think that a country with an Islamic minority, but men and women are free to do whatever satisfies them. Sometimes what they do, sometimes what they do is very contrary to Islam. I think I, I think especially young Americans, they do not care about forbidden relationship. Forbidden relationship or or free association. They they only have relationship or or association that that are not their mahram with pleaser. And they why they why they dress is really not worth saying. As a Muslim as a Muslim woman. I was very afraid to come to to the United States because as a layman because as a layman coming for the first time to his re, to he to this region I was afraid that if unwanted unwanted things happen that would harm me harm me as a muslim And in my opinion, as a Muslim student uh, in Indonesia, to start an activity, especially learning, usually we we as Muslim will definitely definitely pray together in class. But in the United States, but in the United States, every school or campus has never or eliminated all religious activities in school. Automatically, automatically, there is no prayer activity for for Muslim or non-Muslim students. This is a very bad. This is very bad because religion is a way of life for for every people. But in the United States, religion is not is not very important of them. Even some people, even some people do not believe in religion, and and this is a very sad thing that I feel, if if uh, as a student, if as if as a student with a Muslim background, there is an appear opportunity to study or continue my education in the United States there. And I and I and I have also seen that there is there is a habit of young people of young people or students in the United States that they usually do a kissing. They usually do a kissing with friends here can be like to just greeting close friends. If we are Muslim, if we are Muslim, this is very contrary contrary to our morals and religion, namely Islam. This is in this is an egg we which is strictly for. This is an egg which is strictly prohibited by God. We if we do not egg with our mahram, so. If we if we mingle or if we are in the environment environment of this American teenager, as long as we follow the educational process there, 
we inevitably will be in very bad position. And most importantly, and most importantly, in my opinion, before come to this region of the United States as a Muslim, especially a student who is still young, we should prepare ourselves. We should prepare ourselves and have a good and strong faith, so as not to be influenced influenced by culture or habits and free association of the young people there. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Adolf Juanda from TBIA. Okay, I will explain the United States or US is now as a superpower with the Stranger's military target largest economy and dominant and dominant culture. However, this factor have, have not always resulted in international international respect. The desire of other countries to trust America with it with its extraordinary or the Extraordinary power is uh, diminishing in time. This can undermine the influence of Uncle Sam country. In fact, the better the better the image of uh, this nation, the more foreign government are willing to cooperate with the U.S. government. In advancing common goals, so far our perception of the progress of Islam in the U.S. has been dominated by the profile of the Afro-American community, such as Malcolm X, the leader of the nation Islam, Elijah Muhammad, Louis Farrakhan, or famous sportsmen such as Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, Karim Abdul Jabbar, and so on. The U.S. people are not are not familiar with the Muslim community as they are used to Christianity, Catholic, Catholicism, or Judaism, uh, which have been the U.S. for much longer and have high visibility in the local media however this trend has begun to change in recent years recent years according to the islamic foundation muslims in the u.s experienced a very difficult period when the even september 11 september 2001 Occurred the anger of the U.S. people had led to intimidation, vandalism, and demonstration, which caused uh, most Muslim families to feel afraid. Fortunately, unfortunately, uh, fortunately, if uh, it was not was not. Uh, long before there was wave of uh, sympathy and solidarity. Support from the lo local community, what touched them the most was when students from the other public school, NGOs, and other religious communities volunteered to create a human change with Muslim to guard their Islamic schools, founded and Muslim housing and mosques. From then on, they realized, they realized that the majority of American people, people were on the side 
were on their side. They were also helped by statement by the major of uh, Chichago, Ricard Dal Daley. Um, Ricard Daley that the government and city official of Chichago would not uh, tolerance discrimination and intimidation against any ethnicity or religion okay that's all for me uh, thank you for your attention assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Sukma Ulandari my number is 38 and I am from TBIA as a student with a Muslim background who has never traveled to the U.S., Islam in the U.S. can be said to be still a minority. The religion of the majority of the U.S. population is Christian. But as the times have developed and the more sophisticated and widespread technology, the thinking of the U.S. people is more advanced. And the increasing number of immigration from Muslim countries makes the rapid development of Islam in the U.S. In recent years, the U.S. Muslim population has grown significantly, as can be seen from the continued increase in the construction of mosques there. Until now, uh, there are about uh, 1,200 mosques that have been built in there. And the largest mosque in the U.S. Uh, is the Detroit Islamic Center, which was built in uh, 1962 until 1968 by mosque worshippers with the help of governments from Muslim countries such as Egypt, Iran, Saudi Arabia, uh, and Lebanon. Mosques in America uh, are suddenly the center of activities for carrying out uh, the obligatory, uh, obligatory uh, five daily prayers, teaching the Al-Quran, uh, and Friday prayers as well as places for uh, Tarawih prayers uh, during Ramadan uh, and also for celebrate uh, Idul Adha uh, and Idul Fitri. Uh, even though uh, I have never traveled to the US but from various searches uh, that I have read uh, being a Muslim in the U.S., uh, it seems uh, like there are many challenges. Uh, for example, there are many Islamophobia that exist there. Islamophobia is the fear and hatred of Islam and therefore of all Muslim. Although, uh, often misunderstood and slandered Muslim in the US continue to thrive and become part of a beautiful national diversity and Muslims in the US remain enthusiastic to survive and continue to develop their teachings uh, this Arifian uh, from the increasing number of Muslim in the U.S. who have now held various high position in the U.S. So, nowadays, uh, is it not uncommon for Muslim leaders to occupy position in the U.S. As the Muslims continue to grow uh, in U.S., uh, Eid al-Fitri and Eid al-Adha have become holidays for the past six years and also because the 
attitude uh, of tolerance uh, tolerance talk uh, in Islam is manifested in all uh, US Islamic organization that have programs uh, they uh, they send a Muslims code who work with communities who have economic difficulties regardless of ethnic riches and certain religions um, in the end Muslims can be well received by the population of United States and continue to experience population increase every year. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Wicho Tavia. My number is 39. And I'm from TVIA. The United States of America is a multicultural country home to a variety of ethnic groups, tradition, and values. Apart from a small number of Native Americans and Native Hawaiians, nearly all Americans descend from ancestors who migrated to the United States in ancient times. The main culture of America is der- derived from Western culture originating from the tradition of European immigrants, especially British in the North and Spain in the South, and then influenced by various sources such as traditions carried by African slaves. The emergence of migration waves of Asian and Latin Americans peoples also enrich the cultural treasures of the United States. These immigrants retain their original cultural characteristics. American culture is considered the most individualistic culture in the world. The concept of the American dream or the notion that social life in America is better developed among many people and was instrumental in attracting immigrants although mainstream culture maintains that the united states is a country with a costless society scholars who have found that there are significant differences in social class within the country these differences are evident in terms of socialization, language use, and values. Residents, American, middle class, and professionals have pioneered and introduced the contemporary social trends such as modern feminism, environmentalism, and multiculturalism. Americans have emits social perspectives and cultural expectation have been linked to the achievements and advancement of the United States. Meanwhile, the habit of Americans who tend to judge something based on economics achievement is generally considered a positive attribute. Um, talking about Indonesian Muslim students in the United States, in my opinion, there are no obstacles in carrying out worship, including ablution, praying five times a day, reading the Quran, and fasting in the holy month of Ramadan. Based on the resources that I have read, the large part of American society is very tolerant, maybe because of their culture that really values freedom. Of religion. Being a Muslim student is not as difficult as one might imagine. Even in carrying out lectures, students there are given time by teaching lectures to carry out prayers. Usually, every year Muslim student always skips for one day to go to the 
in all other heart prayer. So, in general, the people of the United States on campus will be very tolerant of students' religious beliefs so that Indonesian Muslim students don't need to fear that their worship will be hampered while they are studying in the United States. Indeed, sometimes it takes a little more effort to carry out worship, but if there is an intention then it certainly won't be a problem. Okay, I think that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Perawati. My register number is 18140500033. I am from English Department Class A at Islamic State University of Imam Bonjol Padang. Uh, so in this video, I would like to answer the question from my lecture. Uh, as a student coming from Islamic background and never traveled into the USA, what is my view about uh, the United States of America? So as a student who come from an Islamic background, from a young age, I learned about Islam. And when I was in middle school, I was acquainted with America. And this, co this country make me curious and then a question just come to my mind. Why this country is so famous? Uh, so as a student who has never come to America, I saw in a various media how America was and I also found out. This is too interesting to find out uh, about this country and I just really like this country. I like America. Uh, America is uh, actually is a liberal country. The fundamental liberal ideals of freedom of speech, freedom of the press, freedom of religion, the separation of court and state, the right to due process and equality under the law are widely accepted as a common foundation of liberalism. Uh, many American believe Muslim face a number of significant challenge in making uh, they were in American society. For example, among the public as a whole, roughly 7 in 10 now say there is a lot of discrimination against Muslim in the United States. Talking about um, the United States of America, it is a country with a Muslim minority population, which is only about 1.1% of total population of the United States. We can see uh, the, that life as Muslim in the United States has become increasingly difficult in recent years. They claim to have personally experienced discrimination in, in the past year. But seeing from the side of how this country is developing rapidly, this country has become a superpower. They have the best actors and actresses in the world. And one thing I love about uh, this country is it has the best movie. And I often watch American movies and I actually love everything about United States, like this is a country that I'm obsessed with. Uh, well, the road is peaceful and we can see a tall tree by the side of the road and the long road by the sea and I think this view is uh, really American and I really like this. Uh, American is also friendly. People are nice and they like to help each other. And I have seen in the movies that I watch and I really like uh, the way they greet each other. Uh, I think the United States is a really complex country and I, I like how complex it is. A lot of people will say that United States has no culture or other idiot things but I think it is more that United States of America culture is so 
ubiquitous that it doesn't even seem like a culture to some people in other parts of the world. It's a country with so many different ideas and opinion and they can still get along each other and still prosper, still show respect for each other and still help each other and uh, we can see how empathetic they are and I have uh, determined about the weather over over there which is always always changing and they refer to it I think it is very nice where they always wear costume for the season and I think it is very creative uh, American also have a different perspective on skin color from Indonesia where Indonesian women tend to like uh, white skin and obsession to make their skin brighter but American American women like uh, a black man or a black man uh, or a man will uh, like the black woman maybe they think uh, black skin is sexy i think and I, I also like how american enjoy their youth for fun and they choose to satisfy their desire for war rather than marriage which is why they tend to like working the people like to work and they like their job and they spend all day at their work so uh, that is my opinion about United States of America. Thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Rajadin Rahmat from TBIA. I will tell you about my opinion about the USA. <coughs> All of the American nations from Canada to Argentina are young as nations go and represent variations on culturally creative mix of Europe African, Aboriginal, American, and now ASEAN elements. In some nations, the mix has produced remarkable cultures, and in others, social stagnation and domination by the algorithm. The U.S. in many ways, unlike most other nations, American nationality has not been formed by a court. The way Ireland and Catholicism are bound together, America not characterized by a history of resistance to foreign conquest and resistance to oppression like Poland, not heirs to dreams of ancient empire like Italy, not had 3,000 years of a culture as in China and India, don't have a continuity provided by Japan's emperor tradition. America produced a strongly individualist culture that is extremely corrosive tradition. The culture is dominated by the free market ideology and because America been remarkably diverse in religion, language, and local economy since colonial time. America has also has an ideology of assuming we are just as good as but no better than everyone else. Obviously, the greatest stand on America is the history of slavery and racial bias that remains powerful. America produced a well array of things like the internet, nuclear weapons, computers, the cell phones, social media, blue jeans, hip hop, hot dogs, and the others. America made enormous progress in race and ethnic relations. American women are largely liberated from patriarchy. <clears throat> LGBT folks are finally being given the rights everyone, everybody else has. And with all the good and bad stuff, America selected Donald Trump. His regime wobbles from contradiction to contradiction and is turning America into a road nation. America facing a constitutional crisis between the president and the Congress and how it will end is uncertain. That's all from me. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, first, let me to introduce myself. My name is Ardo Sil, and I'm a student of English Department of Islamic University of Imam Majal Padang. Uh, and I have a test from my lecture. Uh, the questions 
what do you think about USA as a student Muslim that you have never been there before or you have never visited the USA? So, uh, in my opinion, USA or United States of America is a big country and has a big power in economy or military. But the majority of the society in, in USA are not Muslim. Maybe they are Christians or they don't have religion. So they are, uh, they are liberal. Uh, I see from internet, from Google, Instagram, Facebook, and another social media, the USA president was uh, the ex. I mean, the ex president was Donald Trump, and he is, and he doesn't like the Muslim. He doesn't like uh, Islam. Why? Uh, you can see that uh, on accident between Israel and Palestine, the USA or the Donald Trump, they give attention to to Israel. And they hate Palestine so much. Uh, and now, until now, the war between Palestine and Israel still happening, still happen. Uh, so, in my opinion, I don't like the USA, or I prefer like to UK, United Kingdom, because the UK, UK society, they give attention to Muslim. For example, like the Muslim, when to the fasting obligations, the society of UK or the or the they are not Muslim. They don't eat uh, in front of the Muslims. Why? Because they know the Muslims are forbidden to eat when they do the fasting obligation. So I think if you if you want to go to America or USA, you have to think that the America is. Uh, it's a country has culture, but they don't like Muslim and then do and they don't uh, like Islam. So this is my opinion. So if you don't like uh, my opinion, it's your it's your right, <laughs> it's your opinion. But uh, so but also this is my opinion. So uh, thank you for watching my video. Uh, Jelas saya, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Isn't that interesting to listen to the diverse opinions and thoughts about the USA from these students? The students are Muslim students studying at Winnie Mambonjol Padang with me. I am dosen luar biasa at the university. Dosen luar biasa means that I'm not a tenure track faculty, but I am trusted to teach the cross culture understanding course. What do you think about their thoughts and opinions? What can you conclude? Or do you have any ideas or suggestion? Please write down in the comment section. Kalau ada saran, ide, silahkan. Iya, jangan lupa subscribe. Okay?